so we've got no low end power from this uh, Volkswagen Tiguan 1.4 TSI uh, it's a CAVD engine uh, EA111 so we're just going to scan codes and just check um, so boost pressure not detected P2262 Quite an obvious one, P10AA, magnetic clutch for supercharger, stuck open. When we drove the car down the road, we logged the uh, measured values of the boost pressure, actual and uh, specified, and we found that the car was meant to be running about 2000 millibar of, uh, of boost, absolute pressure, and um, we were running about 600 millibar absolute pressure, so we were actually in vacuum still and the car was just very flat like driving obviously like a 1.4 that's just naturally aspirated so um, we'll also take a look and show you what we were looking at on the belt we were loading the car and the uh, the belt we marked on the drive for the uh, supercharger from the water pump and the belt never turns so um, yeah basically we've confirmed that the uh, the uh, supercharger magnetic clutch which is part of the water pump so the water pump itself has a magnetic clutch in it it is plugged in um, so we're going to actually uh, start stripping it down and so to read boost pressures we just went into advanced measured values and then on this descriptions box and then go specified and actual and then drive it down the road the actual so it's reading because the engine is off now it's reading 1000 hpa which is one bar or 14.7 psi uh, 1000 millibar all the same um, so that's reading that because this is this is read in absolute pressure so it's actually atmospheric pressure that is reading at the moment the supercharger belt never turns with marker belt and as you can see it says the VAG front and at the top and no matter what load you put into it the belt never turns um, the clutch you can see is not actually engaged. So there's one aluminium kit plate that's turning with the water pump, and then the inner aluminium plate on the belt side is never turned because that clutch does ne never engages. So uh, we're going to have to replace the water pump on this car. So we're going to start by getting this uh, boost pipe in turbo intake pipe off. Um, just the two T30 bolts holding this clip off. We can then lift this off. Then we'll just rip this engine mount out of the way. As you can see, I've taken the 13 mil bar out of here. Two 16s and two 18s. Lift it out of the way, support the engine. So we'll remove, we'll remove this hose from here. And then I'll unbolt this bracket, which is the mount for the boost pipe, so we need to get this out. So we'll remove this uh, tensioner from the pressure onto the belt. As you can see, I've actually got the special tool. So we can actually detension the belt. And we'll put a pin through here. So that's the tensioner pinned in the detention position. And then we'll just have to detension that one that's just down here that we can see also. So this is a two tensioner system on this one belt. So we've got to take this boost hose off of the throttle body just so we can um, move it out of the way so we can get some covers off and get to our um, water pump header because it just blocks it out of the way. So we've got that boost pipe off of the throttle body. Uh, our next challenge is going to be getting this cover. Getting this cover that we can see on the supercharger off. There's four clips holding them on, two at the top, two at the bottom. So we've got our supercharger cover off and we've also got our belt detentioned as you can see at the back there with the square um, to undo the tension and also got a pin through it locking it in the detention position. Uh, don't mind the paint, that was just uh, we were trying to mark the belt to see if it was moving and uh, the pen leaked all over it so yeah disregard that. So I've got the water pump completely removed and as you can see I've gone ahead and taken these bolts out to hold the outer pulley on. If we lift the pulley off we can see the clutch is completely fried so this is like the um, flywheel surface if it was a manual clutch on a gearbox absolutely worn out 
So I found the reason why this clutch has actually worn out. Um, we've got the water pump which is on its own bearing, which we can see is turning. Turning freely, but this inner section is locked. I cannot turn the inner pulley from the actual housing, so as we can see, there is actually a, another bearing here where you can see my thumb, you can see the green um, dust cover on the actual bearing there. This bearing must be seized, so that's why the, uh, the clutch is worn, because the, uh, as the electromagnet has been operating, it's been trying to connect the two together, as in lock the, lock the clutch together. Like this. And because this is locked solid to the housing, it's just burnt the clutch out. So we're now ready to install our new water pump into the car. And so what we'll have to do is just make sure we've cleaned up our ceiling face on the block. And then we can just install and fill with fresh coolant. So we've cleared our codes and now we're going to do our, our basic settings for the uh, magnetic clutch. can actually audibly hear the supercharger a clutch being engaged and disengaged. And there we go, adaption's finished. So after our adaptions we have no fault code stored. What we'll do is we'll drive this down the road and we'll just read the boost pressures and just make sure no um, boost pressure codes log. So we're now going to log some uh, boost pressures down the road. So I've gone into advanced measured value blocks and at the top in the search section I've clicked started typing charge and we'll just select charge pressure specified and charge pressure actual. And then what we'll do is we'll log this down the road. Sometimes it can help to use the graphing. So I've started the graph, and as you can see, at the moment we do have a difference because the vehicle is at idle. So if I start revving the engine, my actual starts changing. Sorry, my specified is in red, and my actual is in um, green. So I'll drive it down the road and I'll do a full, a full throttle uh, drive on the car, and then I'll just show you uh, from the low RPM scale that we do still have boost. So as we can see our actual and specified now overlap quite well and we are getting matching values so those three peaks are three points of maximum boost that the supercharger was outputting. Um, we've got a 2,500 HPA scale uh, and that went up to about 2,000 HPA which is two bar absolute pressure so one bar of atmospheric and one bar of actual boost. So now we're actually matching, whereas before we were just running atmospheric pressure. So that's the fix, um, and the magnetic clutch has fixed the, um, the low boost and no power under 3000 RPM.